have you seen betting site betting sites yes i've seen yes you've seen betting sites yes and you will also tell us the difference between this and betting we need to have a very clear <laughs> distinction of course yeah all right uh, so but let's just use that as an example right okay. question i think so, maybe you have also received some question about the leverage sure, sure, sure. which leverage can i use mm-hmm. i need a broker that has one to twenty thousand <laughs> and there are some brokers that have that unlimited so, some even go yeah. to unlimited yes i saw someone <laughs> open three positions with two dollars that's oh. crazy <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome again to the Forex Fusion and uh, this is where we come to have solid conversations about forex trading and my name is Sebastian. I run a Blue Bull Forex and here on board I have this is Mr. Dan. I run the Dan Tech uh, community where that we teach forex trading and educate more people. Uh, on our forex trading how are you doing i'm i'm doing fine bro how is it uh, everything is very e- fine economy coaj economy is doing very fine have you seen how gold has really been behaving what? recently what, what, what? Gold <laughs> yeah is, after gold hitting is. almost 2800 now mm-hmm. we are talking about 26 and now it seems that the market is still we we had um, speculation by the way it, it was supposed to shoot up to 3000 i don't know what happened Uh, yeah there are a lot of things that uh, actually happened uh, right there on the process mm-hmm. you see for example one of things that really happened on the process is uh, have you seen china Ch- so china you see when the trump won the election mm-hmm. um there is this uh, speculation that uh, trump was to increase the tariffs for the export to the us okay so what chinese people will do is that they are going to be hunting co- uh, the us dollar uh, right. for a very long time because they know one time the us dollar is going to be shooting and all that you see now because they know their export when they are exporting they are going from China to US is mm. going to become so expensive okay. and they're going not going to be affording the dollar so they are still now holding the dollar so that's why you see when we have so many people owning the dollar it's become mm-hmm. so strong and that's the way you see now uh, it, it was very strong it pushed the euro USD down it pushed the gold down mm-hmm. and it was so crazy man how are you oh, doing wow that, that's quite <laughs> powerful technique uh, fundamental uh, insights yeah uh, i anyway that that that's one of the perspectives because um, uh, but i think it's because also uh, the fact that trump was expected to mitigate um, the iraq um, uh, the uh, the tension like uh, the escalations of wars and everything so probably it's likely to dissolve that and that is why also um gold is is uh, not shooting up it's uh, this means actually dollar is uh, gaining some strength that is yeah. pulling gold to the downward anyway that's not the conversation of the day so yes. here we are dantek yes man so tell us um um what is forex generally what is forex yeah actually that is the you know so many people are very interested to, to go to the forex trading okay. but they really don't really understand mm-hmm. what is forex trading all right have you ever met a person just asking you to give you money and <laughs> and like you're just asking you how much will i gain from this or uh, there's someone want interested in forex trading but yes how much when i get into this forex how much can i make okay yeah because in their mind they think it forex is like investment where you put your money and then you get a end, specific percentage yes absolutely uh-huh. you're going to be getting like 10% per mm-hmm. day that mm-hmm. and that is where so many people go wrong wow because it's um it's a business like any other maybe anchored on some degree of randomness in terms of income yes mm-hmm. so the income is quite irregular in other words yeah definitely right. so uh when it comes to the forex trading we're saying like the, the business that you are doing mm-hmm. you see it will depend on a lot of things that you're going to be doing there but before even we go to that on All the right. income i okay. uh, think let's just define what is forex okay Forex is uh, the forex trading comes from from the one foreign exchange. I think so many people have done foreign exchange in campus uh, and, uh, too, bro. 
form 2 na hiyo hesabu ilikuwa ngumu i don't know why i'm even doing this anyway yeah, yeah this is it's for any exchanges so many people have done that where you just sell currency against oh. each other you determine how much is the difference when you sell or buy just that one okay. so that is why they, they want to come from forex trading and okay. foreign exchange from just the foreign exchange that is why it is uh, exchange just cut there we take x mm-hmm. and then foreign mm-hmm. we just remove the last one we take four okay. and then we combine it comes to the forex and then that is where we normally trend although there are a lot of things that are involved when it comes to the forex exchange that, that, tell me do sometimes when you go to the bank you'll find maybe the value of dollar is at 129 then the following day you come it's at 127 So do they take advantage of that uh, increase and the decrease of the dollar rate or maybe any other currency like pound is is that generally what we call forex Yeah 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 that mm-hmm. that, that that is definitely the forex so when uh, because you have really talked about the bank there are a lot of participants okay. that you're going to be seeing uh, in the forex market okay. Absolutely do you know that the forex is the biggest exchange where the money is exchanged there are a lot of trillions of money are exchanged uh-huh. in one day trillions not in kenya shillings but mm-hmm. dollars wow. a lot a lot a lot of money because there are so many people who are doing forex and they don't know whether they are doing forex uh-huh. when you for example go to the bank mm-hmm. uh you're going to be they are going to put to give you two right okay. let's say you want to go to us all right okay uh-huh. you're going to see two right Mm-hmm. you're going to be seeing the buy, buy sign and, and the, the sell, sell side exactly yeah yeah uh-huh. so you see uh, the dollar is going to they are going to be selling you dollars that means when you give them kenya shillings All right. they give you dollar so that means you are buying the dollar okay, okay? okay. so what is in their computer there or that tv is a sell so mm-hmm. if the dollar is selling at 129 that means that is the price you are going to be buying from them okay okay 129 point uh, that one and There is another one for the buy that means when you have the dollar okay you can give them and they give you Kenya shillings okay. so there is some buying price that is put there on the screen all right all right so, so you can say bank is a participant yeah, bank is a trader literally of course wow yeah they are participants of the forex trading and that you and most of the, because you will be defining these terms because there are a lot of terms when it comes to forex trading okay. and you see that different how mm-hmm. banks makes money actually when it comes to the exchange on the forex trading is that different because you not to see the buying price and selling price being the same uh-huh. no Oh, so th- that fluctuation in between is their profit. Yeah, that's the difference the between the numbers. Them, yeah, that's wow. different. And when it comes to the forex trading, that mm-hmm. is what we call the spread. Hey. Yeah. Guys, are you listening to this list of <laughs> being who is here? Yeah. All right. That uh, is what is called the spread. Okay. But on the bank, it mm-hmm. is the same spread because that's how they make money. Mm-hmm. You bring your 10,000 mm-hmm. Kenya shillings, right. they give you like $70. Mm-hmm. You come with your $70, mm-hmm. they give you 9,000. So, you, so yeah, that so, thousand is their profit. Yeah. Of course, you can't go wow. with the same money and uh-huh. just withdraw that the same amount of money. It's the same thing that we normally uh, that that's how we do in the forex. Okay. But mm-hmm. remember one thing now. The, this is how forex works and i want to give this example mm-hmm. with the, the bank okay so when you go to the bank today mm-hmm. and buy a dollar all right at 129 mm-hmm. probably you have bought with 10000 kenya shillings okay you you have seen how kenya shillings has been behaving recently sure, sure. mostly mm-hmm. can go even with 10 mm-hmm, sure. okay mm-hmm. so when you buy dollars worthy of 70 of 10000 kenya shillings probably you've been getting around uh 70 all right okay. so what if tomorrow the price of the dollar just goes up that means kenya shillings start losing you need more money to convert to dollar right, yeah. so it means that y- y- for example dollar today was 129 tomorrow mm. it goes to 140 yes. okay so if you end bought 70 dollars there was 70 dollars in your account mm-hmm. that means you're not going to be getting the same money you are going to be getting 70 times 140 of which money now will increase Oh by the way this is quite relatable. Yeah. You know in in um December last year mm-hmm. 2023 yes the rate of uh, dollar was around 130. Then on D- on uh, January February and March it escalated all the way to 155 or 156 there. Yeah. So you want to mean those people who bought dollars in December at 130 then they held to March 
and they sold much at 156 yes. so they made some good profit there in between so that is practically engaging yeah, in forex yeah that is forex now wow have you seen people who are actually talking about the dollar account yes see, sure sure yeah so mm-hmm. people are going and putting money and buying the dollar account all right and they put uh, the dollars and then they wait the Kenya shillings to lose and right. then they make money out of that because the dollar has increased in value that is basically the forex trading they are doing the forex trading and they don't know on so that is the basically <laughs> what we do is uh, is only that you're not going to be seeing usdkes uh-huh. or, or we shall not walk to the bank unless we are going to make withdrawals yeah so uh-huh. you can do that one and there is another one of um, when it comes now to the forex trading you see you're not going to be seeing like euro usd against dollar moving with that big margin okay. of course okay and that's why now there is forex trading it's the same thing same concept right. but now um, because this the movement is very small okay. you're seeing like for example when you're trading euro usd you're going to see that the market is going to be moving just slightly very slightly yeah, sure. uh, yeah. and mm-hmm. we have those small units you see for example in the kenya shillings you're going to see it's going to increase by 10 bob mm-hmm. 20 bob uh-huh. and all that uh-huh. that is very big when it comes to forex trading and i think that is the reason uh, why the kenya shillings is not in the forex market is because of that fluctuations you uh-huh. can wake up tomorrow You'll and be a billionaire <laughs> <laughs> yeah because the margin is so 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 big uh, so how much is 10 uh, 10 for example when we have 129.2222 mm-hmm. and the next day we are at 140 you see that fluctuation that, that, that is, is big huge. and and so many people so if you bought 2 million kenya shillings yeah. you shoot to four th- four, you you put you you shoot to almost with 4% yeah oh. so you see now when it goes to the forex is almost the same thing but now because mm-hmm. the movement is very small when we have the euro usd okay. you are going to be seeing a slight move for example you are going to be seeing 1.05000 okay so that is the value and tomorrow it is 1.05 or 0.1.06 so you can see it's, it's decimals mm-hmm, sure. so now though now that is where we go with you know I'm just walking you the process how the forex works okay now that is where now we have Uh, because you know f- um, before even you just go to that you know like samani kitambo there are those people you the like retailers traders were not able to go to the market like trending to the forex market how did they do it you know the reason is okay. because you required a lot of money that time i don't think whether there was leverage you know leverage is, has come to just uh, help make, us make every, even 20 dollars guys are even yeah. able to trade now mm. because of the leverage i yeah. understand that mm-hmm. so it means just look at this you need for example mm-hmm. when you buy all well, 10 dollars mm-hmm. uh, let me give you this example so that anyone can understand when you buy you when you get 10 dollars okay when you have 10 dollars all right and the US, and kenya shillings is going to one that mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. that means you need 1300 to get 10 dollars okay mm-hmm. yeah, right 1300 yeah so when go, dollar goes to 140 mm-hmm. You need 1400. You need 1400. But uh-huh. when you bought at 130 and it's go to 140. 140, uh-huh. you'll be making money. That is an okay? profit here. Yeah. Yes. Wow. But what of this assumption when you are buying euro versus US dollar and mm-hmm. the movement is slightly 1.05 and then go to 1.005, does it mean you make that 1.000 something? Mm-hmm. No. But remember when there was no leverage, you will be talking about what is leverage. Mm-hmm. What really used to happen is that you needed a lot of money. You see you need a lot of money for those mm-hmm. values yeah, to make sure, sense. Sure to make sense. Yeah, because it's pretty <laughs> small. So you mean like uh, 10 million to be able to Yeah, yeah. to make something. Uh-huh. So you needed a lot a lot of money. Mm-hmm. And that's why it's the, the people who are no, now be able to turn um, banks to banks. Okay. You see? Mm-hmm. Those are now the people who are be able to participate in this uh, forex industry. But at least now you see we have the use of the leverage. And Where it, when and yeah. does the, the same way that this leverage is bringing up uh, your ability to magnify uh, profits. Is does it also affect also the losses? Does it also pose a significant threat to your capital because I understand if it's, if uh, for example you know you needed like 10 million maybe to, to be able to trade forex yep. initially before this leverage comes 
So right now I've seen even people trade with hundred dollars, two hundred dollars. So the same way it's magnifying because I, I believe now this is a, a borrowed purchasing power, literally from maybe the brokerage farm that you're using yeah. or any farm that is linking you to the market. So does this mean also it will increase the the risk also? Because if if you had uh, if you had two hundred dollars without the leverage, literally you can't trade. Yeah. Right? Without the leverage, mm-hmm. you, you can't trade. Even if it's without leverage of one is to one, you can't trade completely. So that, does it also pose significant threat to the capital as well? Yeah, of course. You uh-huh. see, um, when we have this leverage, okay. it's and double-ended swan. <laughs> yes, it can cut you on both sides. Side. Yeah, uh-huh. it, it can be one uh, a friend and it can be your LB enemy. Uh-huh. You see? Okay. So what leverage does, mm-hmm. uh, leverage, there are so many and we'll be answering about the leverage because that is the most question. I think maybe you have also received some question about the leverage. Sure, sure, sure. Which leverage can I use? Mm-hmm. I need a broker that has one to 20,000 <laughs> and there are some brokers that have that. Be Unlimited. Li- some even go yeah. to unlimited. Yes. <laughs> I saw someone open three positions with two dollars. That's oh. crazy. Hey. Uh-huh. Yeah. So what leverage does is that, for example, you have hundred dollars mm-hmm. and you select a leverage of one to five hundred. Mm-hmm. That means you'll be trending five hundred dollars times, times one hundred. That's that fifty thousand dollars. My you God. are handling fifty thousand dollars. Okay. That means you're handling fifty thousand dollars. That is by design, but by default, you still have your hundred dollars. Yeah, rebe- so, but remember, so the, okay, the whatever that fifty dollars will do, mm-hmm. if it is going to make losses, uh-huh. it will not make losses as fifty thousand dollars. It will make as hundred. It will make as hundred. <laughs> that is it. So <laughs> it's it's fifty thousand by design. Yes, by default, it's hundred still. Oh, yes, that is That's the one. Christ. So you have to be very, very, very careful. And uh-huh. the same amount that you're going to be making, mm-hmm. you see what leverage does, okay. you can have that uh, big leverage, even to a limited or 10,000. But if you have good risk management, if you know how to do your things, you mm. can select all that. But you know what leverage does, mm. if you select a very small leverage, what it does is just limit you. You know Juu sasa mimi ni kitoka hivi tu hivi ni hii mbaya kwa karibu na kwangu hii. Nikitoka tu hivi na ni tem talafu naenda na kunywa. What I'll do ni tahama. Okay. Ni tahama kwa hiyo loading yende penye hakuna mbaya karibu. You see it's not that it, it's just something you have placed there to limit you because you know you can't control yourself. Yourself okay. Yeah. You see. Uh-huh. But kuna wenye wanaishi kwa hiyo plot that area but <laughs> uh, <laughs> you see, mm-hmm. it's the same le- thing with the leverage. Mm-hmm. You see, you can have one to twenty thousand, one to thirty thousand, mm-hmm. but you can still stick to good risk management. At a, maybe at a Okay. You see, mm-hmm. but kuna mungu na sema mimi ndasa like one over one hundred, uh-huh. one to one hundred, I'm one to. I, I need to treat like a big boy. Yeah. Oh God, my. Yeah. <laughs> See now, so and you care those limits uh-huh. to ensure that it does not mess up, wow. and it's one of things to cap you up. Nikama kujua kambi out, no na, because you know you can mess up any time. I'm going, I can do this, and mm-hmm. don't trust myself. All right. Yeah. So now, Dan, uh, thank you so much for that powerful insight on what is forex, and uh, maybe because of time, I'll be able to make this one shorter. All right. Yes. Now. Uh, Dantec, yes, now, since, since we've talked about um, uh, leverage, uh, what is Forex, story moja noma hapo, even you say wale wale kwa naitaji mando mingi ku trade. Now let's, let's come to, now let's come to the concept of trading itself, yeah. buying and selling. Mm-hmm. Uh, where is this actual market and uh, how do you get to that particular market? Like who is the link between you and that market where you are trading? You sasa mi ni kiamua kuanda kwa soko kama naenda githurai na niko kawa west. Si nitapanda matatu, inipeleke kwa soko. Kama niko Westlands na kuja vile, whatever I'm going. Si nitapanda kwa gari, maybe inipeleke. So who links you up with that particular market so that you can be able to trade? Yeah, you see, um, when it comes to uh, this market, have you seen betting site? Betting sites, yes, I've seen Yes, it. you've seen betting sites. Yes, and you will also tell us the difference between this and betting. We need to have a very clear <laughs> distinction. Of course, yeah. All right. Uh-huh. So, but let's just use that as an example, right? Oh, okay. So, if you want to 
uh last is um bet between Manchester United mm-hmm. and Arsenal and Arsenal or Chelsea or Chelsea talk about yeah. the main rival okay yeah. <laughs> so what are you going to do of course you're going to be selecting what the the betting platform betting platform betting yeah okay. b- b- because there are, there are many of them yeah okay, okay. offering maybe different offers and uh-huh. all that uh-huh. and what are they going to do they are going to offer you ons okay okay so that uh, and they are going to be offering you when that match comes you see it on their platform all right all right yeah that is the same thing uh-huh. when it comes to the forex trading okay when you want to trend gold okay Okay. Yeah. There are some people who are interested in gold. You see, but let me just give you a story. I'm sorry about this, but I really want to speed some <laughs> something here. Acha ni kuibia sisi. Dispense yeah. wisdom. Yeah. <laughs> let, let, me, let me let me tell you something. <laughs> let me tell you something. Mm-hmm. So, have you seen have you seen actually the politician and some rich people then go and you see someone has bought a watch or a gold or something and He has bought that something at maybe 10,000, 10 million, 20 million, and he's keeping it in the house. Mm-hmm. And you people think that that guy mm-hmm. is just wasting money. Mm-hmm. I see. Yeah? This okay. person is just wasting money. So what those people do, mm-hmm. and we'll be coming to that on the gold side, mm-hmm. so what those people do is that I am a politician, and I know what I'm going to be doing I, all I have to do is just buy, for example, this watch here. It's golden. Maybe it has gold and all that. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about the gold. So I keep this because the value of gold has always been increasing with years. And mm-hmm. let me tell you, even the next 10 years, gold price is going to increase even more. Okay. So I keep this as the asset. I just buy and hold and keep it. All right. In the next 10 years, I can sell. Okay. You know, when I buy this, and compared to the land when i buy land or buy properties mm-hmm. i'm going to be accused because they are going to trace that but when i buy like this one there's mm-hmm. no one going to so that means on mm-hmm. my term that mm-hmm. i'm going to be ruling mm-hmm. i can buy this mm-hmm. and keep it mm-hmm. without anyone noticing so when i retire or i lose job i can sell this at a higher value I you see. know this is the one thing that is going to be keeping the value mm-hmm. let's go now go to the brokers okay so on the brokers uh-huh. you can Oh, you, when, when it comes now to the forex market when you want to buy i have given you example of the f- football matches All right. where where when you just want to trend where you go mm-hmm. there are some people who prefer to buy this asset like for example gold okay. and keep them physical one mm-hmm. and there are others that prefer now to go to the this virtual platform the mm-hmm. internet platforms okay. and buy okay they are now When you want to go and buy the gold now, mm-hmm. you not just go to the black market or anywhere else. You All can right. anyone can buy gold even right. at five thousand, two thousand dollars, two 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 thousand Kenya shillings. Mm-hmm. All you just have to do is just find a platform that provides that, and the one who will link you to that market mm-hmm. is the broker. Okay, now here the broker comes. Uh, yeah, no. So in other words, yes. broker is the link between the retail trader and the financial market itself. Yes, and the, right? and the market. Okay. Yeah, so you see this market is going now um the broker is now going to be linking you to that. You see for example, I gave you the example of the football. If you want to bet those platform, where will you go? Because you don't know how to do that. Okay? Mm-hmm. So but this platform will just provide you with everything. When you want to buy gold, You just go there when you want to trade euro usd it will provide you with real market uh prices and now there now you can just trade so that is the now the broker that links you to this market powerful mm-hmm. explanation now let me ask you something dan tech um when you go to betting platforms they will give different odds right yes you will tell you will find like uh, if you place a bet with manchester united mm-hmm. with this company you will get 300 You will still place the same bet with the same amount other company gives you 305 shillings um so does it also apply to the brokers like uh, those various brokers charge differently in terms of uh, maybe their commissions um their their swaps those spreads that we talked about initially do they vary or they are constant for all brokers yeah so uh when it comes to the changes mm-hmm. for example uh let me talk about the, the prices of the market for example when you go to the price of the euro usd right now okay uh the providers 
the price should be the same all right the price should be the same okay is for example when you go to the kenya shillings the currency now where it's going is absolutely have to be the same in all the platforms okay the providers have to provide just the same value but where the problem now comes is when it come out the changes mm-hmm right okay Do you remember where we started uh and we said about the bank where they just charge you to deposit and withdraw right. so these are going to be different mm-hmm. okay this now when it comes to the brokers is going to be different so you there are some brokers that can offer you just little fee compared to others okay but very very slight mm-hmm. and that is what we now call spread Oh, yes. now I see. Now, just help us to do this Dantec. Yes, man. We want to trade forex. We have never traded forex, but we have seen potential in this business. Now, help us to choose a broker. Like what are we going to look at? Uh, what criteria are we going to 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 determine to to now, to now say this is the best broker? What are some of the key uh, requirements that we have to check for us now to conclude we're going to trade with this broker? So, wh- what what do we look at for we to select a good broker? When it comes now to selecting the broker, All right. you absolutely th- uh, do you know actually that is the most important thing mm-hmm. because some brokers can mess you up. Really? Yes. Uh-huh. Definitely some brokers can really really mess you up. Okay. And one of the things that I've seen so many people doing is that they go mostly to how much is the leverage is this brokers offering? <laughs> we I like think leverage. Remember, <laughs> like uh, magnification, <laughs> magnificent. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We are huge. They like they like that. I mm-hmm. think so many people don't know why they like leverage, but we already discussed that. But we are expound more mm-hmm. on that. Maybe they can tell us if you can really expound more on leverage how to calculate. So comment down here that. if you want us to continue doing this, guys, and uh, any other topic that you feel we should discuss here at Forex Fusion, so that we can be able to air it to you and be able to assist you. But make sure also you subscribe to this particular channel, like and share to your friends. Continue, Dantec. Yes, man. So uh, when it comes to the brokers, all right, we can really consider a lot of things. Okay. Number one, I'll say just. Look at the broker. First of all, we saying regulation is the broker regulated in your country. Okay. Now in the okay. country who is the regulator? The CMA? The CMA. Capital yeah. Market Authority, right? Yeah. All right. And you know the reason we are going to be doing this is mm. so because there are a lot of things they are going to look at that we as retailers we may not be able to know. Okay. But they are really going to be looking at that. Right. They are going you know what CMA is going to do? It's going to be making sure that the consumer, the retailer, is protected. Okay. Right? Mm-hmm. Is protected. So how do you really know about that? There are some brokers of course uh, that are not regulated in Kenya but they are regulated in other countries. So you can really even go for that. All right. Yeah, it, the brokers is not of mass that is might be regulated in your country. Mm-hmm. You see, uh, it cannot. There are some brokers that are not regulated in your country, but they are not enough. The reason is because maybe they have not got enough market in okay. your country okay, to be able to get licensing. Yeah, to be else. able to get licensing. Oh, that's quite that. understandable. Yeah. So okay. Now, uh, since you've talked about now the brokers, there is that aspect of security where um, the consumers of the products that these particular brokers uh, offer, they want uh, some, some degree of assurance that their money is safe because you know you are depositing to the broker and then making withdrawal from the same broker. So would you also advise, um, maybe if you find this broker is good and it's probably not regulated within your country, would you also back, uh, do some background check on regulation in other countries maybe, and uh, just to confirm legitimacy? Because we have, I, I understand also there are rogue uh, participants in every market so that people maybe probably don't fall into the traps of maybe depositing their funds in brokers, some fraudulent, uh, repugnant brokers and then they end up losing their hard anti money. So would you also advise uh, just in case the broker is not regulated in their country and they feel this broker is good enough maybe to do some background check on the legitimacy of that particular broker before putting the money? Yeah, yeah, of oh, course. All you right. make sure that you will check on that because I think the moment you start using a broker is not going to just keep switching. Just make sure that you do a very good research on the broker that you are going to be working with just how does this broker really works uh 
just look at them because you can mess up and put your account money and they end up you know we are talking about finance this <laughs> and <laughs> matters money, of money my friend hey. and matters of money need to uh, you for to be very careful everybody is yeah not to trust when it comes to money anyway yes. now dantek let's wind up this thing my guy now tell us uh, this thing has been really suffered uh, suffering like forex market has suffered in the hands of uh, let me say people who wants to make money very quickly and yep. uh, um uh, I, don't, i don't really understand why people come to forex with the money and then they want to get rich next week and if that does not happen they mm-hmm. start saying probably it has come there is that probability that probably it doesn't pay well and all that so what are some of the me the misconceptions that people have posted to this particular uh, platform that you think these these things don't work so can you tell us some of the myths that are called misconceptions that basically perceptions which are just uh, people which have been stereotyped by people like this is also this the thing works but in reality that is not how it works <laughs> Yeah first of all let me just start with the most that I've experienced from you know I have a community I have so many people contact me about forex and I've really seen a lot of things and I just come to con- came to conclusion that maybe that is how so many people think this forex is right. and one of the questions I know also you as well you have received that uh, is sure. where people think that forex is kind of investment like you put money the next day that your money is just multiplied mm-hmm. you see like I, someone is just asking you no offense but someone is asking you <laughs> if i have 10000 kenya shillings uh-huh. how much am i going to be making in the next five days i knew days? there is offense anytime you hear no offense mtu iko ikwambia siko baya niko baya okay uh-huh. mm, so that happens yeah that happens uh-huh. most of the time like people think that forex is like investment okay and where you put and that's where so many people have been scammed okay. is because of that perception that forex is like investment you can put your money and the next day <laughs> you have your returns wow. without realizing that there are a lot of risk that are really involved there okay. there are a lot of learning that is involved there there are a lot of things that you have to do there are a lot of patience that is required psychology that is required um, before you make that m- amount of money dantek yes man um Do, do you think this thing is sustainable enough like now can i reach to a level and quit my job as a lawyer as a doctor as a teacher as a plumber as a construction guy can i quit to a place ni tiwa mjengo ni same ah si shiki simiti mimi nataka ku trade forex I, can you just say i'm not gonna do any other as i just want to focus on this can you reach is it sustainable to that level in your own opinion wewe ni unaanga tu tukika hapa <laughs> just forex okay. yeah but but yes <laughs> you, you, know, <laughs> <laughs> you see like um forex is good okay very 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 good uh-huh. forex can sustain you mm-hmm. you see for example i want to really to find this because i sent i do forex for time okay but there are so many people they don't i really understand you pay rent yeah you forex. buy food everything you forex. fuel your car forex uh, forex forex wow so you can do this literally so someone can bro yeah but one thing i really tell people uh, at what level do you quit your job to focus on forex at what level of mastery do you look at things and say ai mimi mazi siendi shule na mimi ni mwalimu i i'm just here you don't really have to quit your job at any given time okay all right uh-huh. If if you have unless uh-huh. when you how really have to quit is this the time you can quit but when you realize it's not when you realize your income on the forex is more than the job you are doing not that mm-hmm. is when you realize okay. forex is giving you more money okay but the other job is suppressing you down not even to concentrate on the other side that is giving you more money wow but for example if the forex is giving you good money and the other job that you are doing is not interrupting what you are making why not continue to do both hey pesa watas niambia hata wewe money in the pockets bro niambia niambia hata wewe mbona usifanye kama hii kazi nyingine unafanya is not interrupting what you are doing in the forex all right mhm okay okay and you are making money in the forex mhm 
you really and you are doing the other business let's say for example me I'm you, you see it's, it's a, you see uh, th- there is that degree of forex that uh, assures people of a little bit of freedom because you know you, you don't have to stay in the chart 24/7 it's just you are marking yes. out specific zones and then being activated hakuna mse upenda kurauka kwenda place so exactly so, so at some point mse anafika na sema ai mimi ni mode napata 40k pa month alafu hii side nyingine ya forex hiyo 40 naingiza kwa wiki so wanafanya cost benefit analysis na naona ah I, i i can maybe start doing this because it's giving me some time freedom to move around but now the question is uh, you have actually answered very well so you don't you don't quit because of money you quit because now you feel the other thing that you are doing is surprising your time yes yeah, yeah because you, you know you don't, you don't have really to just do that unless maybe you come to realize this is not giving you the peace of mind mm-hmm. so i can really quit forex i can quit the other job i'm doing mm-hmm. and just shift to another because the way you have really answered that is that forex you don't really to stay on the chart just glued on the chart 24/7 all right you can do a lot of things when you are still doing the forex okay Like when you know get up. Me ni kona open trends as in the run. Is in a run. Yeah. I'm oh. I'm not scared of that. I know what I've done. I can do other things. We can do we can educate people even more on that. I know you have an event you can really educate people more on that. I know you have a community you have people you are teaching. You can do that. You see? Uh, you, you can do a lot of things when you do, and that is the beauty of forex okay yes. now let, let me give you my secret here and tell me whether i'm the one who has a problem or it's mm-hmm. another misconception okay um i've been trading for about four years now okay and uh, there is this lifestyle eh? there is this lifestyle man <laughs> there is this lifestyle you see yes. Dan. Uh-huh. so this lifestyle i've been pursuing it quite consistently mm-hmm but i still find myself saving uh, almost 3 2 to 3 weeks to afford a simple trip maybe to dubai for 4 days or 5 days and uh, maybe some i like i feel it i can feel the financial hit literally despite that i'm a trader and and then i see other guys online here they're just saying you know guys i want to go to maldives um i'm going to open some few trades here ni satano mchana by mm-hmm. sasa but the guy is closing and and he's like no guys you've made money let's just book this flight and go to maldives like th- th- for them it's r- a l- very quick and then for me it's kind of process i can feel there a little bit of hardship so is this lifestyle really that easy and cheap like is it is it just like it is portrayed out here because for me i feel it difficult to just portray you know and uh, and also the flashy lifestyle uh, this issue of you bought a car like The way I know things it's your responsibility to have a car because right now car is a necess- it's a necessity not a luxury mm-hmm. all right it's your responsibility to dress well so this this issue of um, I've gone to a boutique you know this suit is 50000 and then you have to show the price tag and everything is that still part of forex trading in your own opinion <laughs> I, I really don't uh, you know this industry uh, has a lot of uh, has a lot of crazy things okay and uh, That's why so many people have really like just you know there are so, so many people have sold that lifestyle to the beginners and they think okay. when you go to the forex trading you're going to you're be getting to like g- that money you're mm-hmm, supposed to be Lambo. like this uh-huh. yeah and uh, for example on my side I've really done some crazy things but I really after doing that mm-hmm. then I realized kumbe if I just decided to shoot these things it could have gone like mm-hmm. just viral okay. I've bought two cars and wow. uh, sijai show sijui kwa nini but yeah. after kununua ndio realize kumbe ningeanzia hii process <laughs> nionyeshe <laughs> pia mimi ningekuwa mahali na numbers in terms of followers yeah uh-huh, because... i've done crazy things like kujenga and mm-hmm. kufanyia wazazi vitu but you see that is a lot people show mm-hmm. but i feel that's yeah. a basic responsibility yeah, it's, but it's nothing yeah those things are so like but there are so many people who are really impressed on that but i think <laughs> Maybe it's a part of their content. Maybe it's fun. Yeah, but, but you right. know there are people okay. who, who but like it's not genuinely that. forex like uh, it's not genuinely like uh, that's how it's supp- it's not supposed to be easy like 
the way it's portrayed or how do you see it in your own opinion you know there's i think the most yeah, the, the biggest industry that has those kind of things is forex All when right. you go to other jobs and other businesses i've not yeah. really seen i've not seen a doctor saying you know i'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm you know we just learned yeah. to treat some patients it's crazy uh-huh. it's crazy okay. it's, it's crazy but i'm really not i i will not really judge anyone but All right. if you are okay with that <laughs> that's your business that is your business <laughs> thank you so much that tech was it welcome again to forex fusion yes you welcome any day thank you so much for the powerful insights you have been able to share with us so guys support this uh, initiative this is where we have solid conversation about mm. trading to be able to see how really the forex market is supposed to work so thank you so much once again remember to subscribe to this particular channel share widely and like our video so that we can be able to continue to motivate us to make more videos to educate you guys so thank you so much adios Thank you.